Cognitive psychologists have studied a lot about expertise, looking across many different fields, and they find there's a few basic elements which are common across all fields of what makes up expertise, and there's also a very consistent pattern about how expertise is developed. And so, starting with what are the components of expertise, well, the first one everyone would guess, experts have a lot of factual knowledge about their subject. But the other two aren't nearly as obvious. It turns out that uh, experts in any particular field, they have not only knowledge, but they have unique to that field, a very special way of organizing all of that knowledge. And this mental organizational framework allows them to be very efficient and effective at getting the information they need to solve a particular problem. So these organizational frameworks, um, they involve uh, you know, organizing things about complex uh, patterns and relationships that one looks for. And if you think about what a, a, a science or an engineering concept is, it's really just the way that that scientists in a particular field took a whole bunch of different pieces of information and saw a way they could organize that all together so that then when they're faced with a new problem, they could very quickly decide if that whole body of information was going to be useful or not useful, and they could set it aside and look at other things. Now, the third aspect of expertise is really the, the ability to monitor one's own thinking and learning, at least in the subject. And so, known as an expert working in some particular field, they have a little voice in their back of their mind saying, you know, do I really understand this? Is this a, be a sensible way to be solving this problem? And it turns out they get another little voice that can actually answer them and, and guide, and so they change what they're doing accordingly. Now, the, the research also shows that uh, all of these things are fundamentally new ways of thinking. No one naturally comes to have expertise in any subject, although there's lots of myths about this. The, the research says it's just not true. Um, that everyone requires many hours of very intense practice to develop this expertise. In fact, to reach a high level, it's many thousands of hours. And I think it's becoming uh, increasingly clear in recent years that this is a basic biological limit. 